The profession of law enforcement is a commitment to justice, integrity, and service. Tonight, we are joined by two of the top graduates of the Philippine National Police Academy for this school year. Their class is La Candula. In the aftermath of the Mama Sapano incident where 44 SAF troopers of the PNP died, we asked them, what kind of service will they offer to our people and to our country? Joining us tonight here on News Live are Cadet First Class Dennis Monroy Yuson Jr., the valedictorian of the class, and Cadet First Class Julianne Laurel Aguilar. She is among the top ten in her class. Maganda gabi and welcome to News Live to both of you. Good evening, Mom. First of all, congratulations. Out of the 350 who entered uh, in your batch, you are part of the 247 and top ten of that. Congratulations. Yes, thank, thank you, you Mom. Simula natin kay Cadet Yuson. Um, I learned earlier na graduate ka na ng education, magna cum laude ka pa. What motivated you to enter the PNPA? It was my father who introduced PNPA to me. And mm -hmm. from then, I have seen a good public servant because he is also a police officer. Mm -hmm. And he serves as a model for me. And I have realized that entering the academy is really a very good opportunity for me to exercise public service. Mm -hmm. You are from Jensen. Marami bang taga Jensen ang pumapasok sa ating kapulisan? Yes, ma'am. Uh, actually, there are a lot of, uh, most of my classmates, five of us, are from General Santos City also. Mm -hmm. Kanina nabanggit mo that your father is also part of the force. What, what specific um, attributes of him did you uh, really admire growing up? Siyempre, habang lumalaki ka, na-expose ka rin sa buhay ng isang police. My father is really committed to the service, ma'am, and I have seen that he re is really persevered and dedicated to serve the people, even if he has less time with his family and even if he has also uh, less time to spend with my mother as well. Mm -hmm. uh, si Cadet Aguilar naman, it's very empowering and encouraging to see women in the PNP, uh, in the PNP and in PNP. Ilan kayo nagsimulang babae and how many percent of the whole class is composed of women? Mom, we started out with 21 female cadets, Mom. Uh -huh. And from those 21, 19 remained and one was added coming from a higher batch mm -hmm. that was turned back, Mom. And we all, all in all, Mom, we compose of 10% of our class. Konti lang, ah, in, in terms of the whole class. And like Cadet Yusan, uh, siya graduate ng education, you were pursuing studies in public administration. What motivated you to shift your uh, path to entering the PNPA? It was my father also, Mom, because since my father was an alumnus of the PNPA, he influenced me greatly. And I believe that the, entering the academy and upon graduation, I would have a more direct access to being a public servant. Mm -hmm. I'm just curious, what advice did your father give you before you entered the PNPA? That was to just follow and follow until you follow no more, Mom. Mm -hmm. It was being, not, not giving up because he knew that entering the academy was going to be hard for me, but he just advised me that never to never give up, Mom. Mm -hmm. Cadet Yusan and Cadet Aguilar, we know that both of you, do, you don't have any choice on what uh, office or branch of uh, the PNP you'll uh, eventually go to, but given the choice, Saan ka pupunta, Cadet Yuson? If given the choice, I would be entering the investigation unit. Mm -hmm. But I also consider uh, SAF to be also one of my options in the service because I have seen that the, in the incident in Mamasapan have really inspired us to, of course, live up with the ideals of honor and integrity as well. That is why whatever would be the, the assignment that would be given to us, then we would be very willing to accept the responsibility. Mm -hmm. You mentioned about the recent Mamasapano incident. Was it more encouraging for you as a PNPA, as a, a, as a cadet, uh, rather than discouraging because of all the controversies that are surrounding this issue? Yes, the incident had really inspired us to be strong in, our, in the chosen profession that we, that we have, even if it entails, of course, race at the onset. But we believe that the sacrifice that they have done have really uh, lived up and burned our desire to serve the country. Mm -hmm. How about you, Cadet Aguilar? Which path do you wish to pursue? I wish to enter the Bureau of Jail Management and Phenology but it's because I believe that it is where I'll be most effective. Mm -hmm. Since service comes in many forms, I believe that catering to the, our fellow uh, countrymen in the jail facilities is also an important 
-hmm. job. You've had a chance to go and visit the different jails here in the Philippines. What do you think can you contribute uh, as a later on as a police officer in the Bureau of Jail Management? I believe that being a woman in the jail management and penology is important because you bring in the female side, mm -hmm. not, not just because a woman is more caring and they have, a, they have a heart for nurturing others. And the Bureau of Jail Management is there for safekeeping and development of inmates. Mm -hmm. So I believe that being a woman entering the jail, the jail service is very important, a very big contribution to the mm -hmm. service. What are the other options of your fellow batchmates in terms of what path to take after the PNPA? After PNPA, um, some of my classmates will also be joining the Bureau of Fire Protection. Mm -hmm. And as the national headquarters would dictate, the Philippine National Police would be assigned to the different regions of the country. And they could also uh, join special units such as SAF and SWAT mm -hmm. and other units of the Philippine National Police. Mm -hmm. Uh, you know, we have a lot of viewers out here who are, unlike you, who they, they are not part of a family who have, na merong mga police sa kanilang kanya-kanyang pamilya. How will you encourage those who are uh, tra or thinking or considering going into the police force na talagang magtuloy na sa PNP at tumuloy sa kanilang pangarap sa pagiging isang police? Kadat Yuson. Being a police officer is really a noble profession. Even if there are people who would like to tarnish the image of the PNP, we as the future officers of the Philippine National Police would really try to regain also the trust and the confidence of the people. And serving and protecting the lives and welfare of other people is really a very rewarding job and a very, uh, a very good opportunity to serve the people. Mm -hmm. With everything that you said, how will you live up to all, this, all those expectations of people uh, as a police officer later on in your career? That is by applying what the academy had taught us, and that is, of course, living up to the ideals of justice, of course, integrity and service. The, books, the best test of a police officer is how you live up to the character that you have imbibed in that, inside the academy. So even outside, the real, the real battle is really, of course, very challenging, mm -hmm. but it is how you are committed and how strong you are to live up to loyalty and integrity, ma'am. Mm -hmm. Aguilar, patuloy mong iwinawagay, why ang... Uh bandera ng mga kababaihan. You know, not a lot of women would consider entering the PNPA and become a police woman. How would you encourage more women to join the force? Well, women's, women are also capable in achieving great things as well as men. So, if, if anyone or if you really aspire to be of, of service to the country, mm -hmm. I think it doesn't matter what gender you are as long as you really have the heart for service. Mm -hmm. It is not, gender is not really an obstacle, rather it is an opportunity where you could really you, you could explore yourself and really test your limits, ma'am. Mm -hmm. You know, you've been in the PNPA for four years and I'm sure it wasn't easy. How is a normal day like for a cadet in the PNPA? Cadet Yuson? Uh, a normal day in, in, of a cadet in PNP is really... Uh, challenging and it really tests your physical, spiritual, and mental aspects. That I have realized that it is not only the the intellect and it's not only about the car, the strength that you have, but it is all about the will and perseverance that you would be able to survive one day at a time. Mm -hmm. What uh, at any point did you feel like giving up and just saying, "Naku, kum, uh, magna kum laudin naman ako ng education, babalik na lang ako sa Jensen. I won't push through with." Uh, my studies anymore in the PNP is so brang hirap. I have those uh, reservations in my mind, especially during my first month of my training in the academy. But I have, I want to, of course, to make my father very proud of me and my, of course, my town mates in Jala Santos City. That the moment I will be entering the academy, the only thing that could also make me go out there is my graduation day. Mm -hmm. How about you, Kadat Aguilar? Ano naman yung matuturing mong pinaka-challenging times mo in your four years inside the academy? It is really dealing with different kinds of people. Since the cadets in the academy come from various areas of the Philippines, it's very hard for me to adjust communicating, especially since we all use different languages. Mm -hmm. However, through education and constant social socializing with them you learn to adjust so that you won't have difficulties in relating with each other mm -hmm. 
And finally, to both of you, we are going through a very tough time. What is your message to all the Filipinos out there? And how should we look at and how should we help our policemen here in the country? Kadat Yusuf. The policemen in the country, especially in the Philippines, is of course very committed to serve and protect everyone, especially us Filipinos. We may have failures at some point. We may also be able to disappoint you. But at the end, it is really the commitment of the Philippine National Police and as a future law enforcers of the country to serve you with the best of our ability. And as future graduates of the Academy, we want also to prove that in the end, there are still police officers who are willing to serve you with utmost loyalty and integrity. Cadet Aguilar? For me, Mom, every one of us should contribute in, make, in providing for a solution, not only the government, but also the public and everyone involved. We should all, because no one could really, really answer the problems alone. We should all help each other to achieve a common goal. Congratulations once again to the class Lakandula and to both of you for having extra honors in your graduating class. Once again, that's Cadet First Class Dennis Monroy Yusan, the number one graduate of the PNP 8 class this year. Class Lakandula and Cadet First Class Julian Laurel Aguilar. Thank you.